Hi guys, so ito na yung last part na ng uh, process costing, loss units or spoilage. So accounting for scrap and defective units in a process cost system is essentially the same as in job order cost system. So cost to rework defective units in a process cost are normally charged to factory overhead control rather than work in process because defective units in a process cost system are usually the result of internal failure rather than customer's specification. So the units classified as loss in a process cost system are actually the same as the spoiled units under the job order system. The units are still with the company but due to imperfections discovered during quality control inspection, they were removed from the manufacturing process. So, kapag sinabi nating lost units or spoiled units, okay, um, ito yung mga units na nilagay natin sa production pero hindi sila na-complete. Okay? So, spoiled units or lost units. So, di ba pag sinabi natin spoiled, di ba? May mga uh, spoiled dyan. So, may dalawang klase ng spoiled units or lost units. Normal and abnormal lost units. So, ano yung difference ng normal and abnormal? Okay. So, sabi dun sa reference book natin kay De Leon, sabi niya, normal losses are expected. Okay. While abnormal losses are those in excess of what have been predicted. Okay. So, kapag kasi sinabi natin loss units, ito yung mga units na nailagay na natin sa production. So, ibig sabihin, meron na yung materials, labor, and overhead. Kaya lang, hindi sila makukomplete. Okay? So, ang tanong dyan, paano yung cost ng loss units natin? ba diba, meron na nga siyang materials, labor, and overhead. So, paano yung cost nun? Yung cost na na-incur natin. So, sino yung mag absorb Or ano natin, paano natin siya ire record Okay? So, pagdating sa normal and abnormal loss units, ganito lang yan, class. Parang, parang kunwari, nagagawa tayo ng yelo. So, nagbebenta tayo ng yelo limang piso kada isang yelo. So, di ba pag gumawa tayo ng yelo, ang ginagawa lang naman natin, yung plastic, lalagyan mo ng tubig, tapos ibubuhol mo, tapos ilalagay mo sa ref. Okay? So, di ba makadalasan, meron kayo nagagawa na yelo na nagsishrink siya, hindi siya talaga nabubuo. Kasi, pwedeng uh, nasiksik siya, tapos nabutas, hindi mo napansin, nung nag na siya, doon mo lang makikita na hindi pala siya buo. Or kaya minsan, pagkuha mo nung yelo, na, 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 ano mo, nabutas mo yung kabila, yung katabi, so hindi mo napansin, tapos nung nabuo siya, so nag-shrink siya, hindi din siya buo. Okay? So yun, kapag kunyari, di ba may bumili, Sasabi mo, sige, tatlong piso na lang. O kaya, pamigay na lang. So, loss units na yon Okay? So, ang, ang, ang question, normal ba siya or abnormal loss units? So, di ba sabi natin, pag normal, expected siya. Okay? So, yun, yung loss na yun, yung, yung nag-shrink na yun, so, yun ay normal loss units. Okay? So, normal yun kasi, ano, um, unavoidable siya. So, ibig sabihin, uh, lagi, pwede siyang lagi mangyari kasi kasama siya dun sa process. Okay? So, kapag sinabi naman natin abnormal, di ba sabi natin pag abnormal, non-recurring, ibig sabihin, hindi naman lagi nangyayari. Okay? So, kung ang normal loss units ay unavoidable, ang abnormal loss units naman ay avoidable. Okay? So, for example, yung yelo, na, yung yelo pa rin natin, let's say, nung gumagawa ka ng yelo, nilagay mo sa tray yung mga plastic na mayroong tubig. So, nung ilalagay mo na dun sa ref yung uh, plastic na mayroong tubig, so, ang nangyayari sa'yo, nadapa ka. So, nung nadapa ka, mayroong nabutas na mga plastic. So, loss units na yon So, ang tanong, yung mga yung bang loss units na yon Normal ba or abnormal? Okay. So, pag ganun, 
lagi ba siyang nangyayari? Expected mo ba siya? So, ibig sabihin ko, expected siya every time na gagawa ka ng yelo, kailangan madapa ka. So, kung hindi ka nadapa, babalik kayo, teka lang, kailangan madapa ako kasi ito ay lost units normal. So, expected. So, pag ganun, siya ay abnormal lost units. So, ang tanong, kung paano natin i-account or sino yung mag absorb nung cost nung lost units natin? So, ang una mo nang titingnan, So, ikaklassify mo muna kung normal ba siya or abnormal loss units. So, kasi meron tayong rules na kailangang tandaan, kailangan yung i-memorize. So, kung na-identify mo na or na-classify mo na kung normal or abnormal, ang susunod dun ay kung kailan mo siya na-discover. So, at the beginning of the process ba or at the end of the process ba or during the process. So, merong inspection point. So, yung inspection point, dun mo, dun mo makikita na may ay mayroong palang loss unit. So, ibig sabihin, itong loss units na to hindi siya makukomplete. So, yung binigay ko sa inyong handouts, so, kailangan nyo siyang i-memorize. But, pakita ko din yung nasa libro natin, yung kay De Leon, kung paano niya uh, i-account or paano natin i-re-record yung mga loss units ng normal and abnormal. So, ito yung sa book natin, yung kay De Leon. So, sabi dyan, normal losses are expected while abnormal losses are those in excess of what have been predicted. So, the cost of normal loss units are reported as Prada cost. Okay, so, Prada cost. Ayan, ito. So, as reported as Prada cost. Since, uh, eventually, they become part of the cost of good units. While the cost of abnormal loss units are recognized as period cost. As charges for abnormal loss units are debited to factory overhead control. Okay? So, ito, dito in-enumerate niya kung paano natin i-account yeah, yung mga loss units ito. So, the cost of normal loss units is charged to completed units in uh, work in process or units in process at the end when discovered at the beginning of the process discovered during the process and no quality control is inspection inspection is indicated discovered at the end of the process while the cost of abnormal loss units is charged to a loss account or factory overhead discovered at the beginning discovered during the process with the point of discovery stated in the problem and discovered at the end of the process so ito yung pr procedures na gagawin natin sa pag-compute ng equivalent units of production for normal loss units. So, pag A and A1 and A2, ito yon So, A1 and A2, so, anong sabi niya? Do not assign work done to the loss units and adjust the unit cost from preceding department due to the decreased number of units. Okay? Then, the above procedures autom automatically charge the cost of the loss, normal loss units to both completed units and units in process at the end. So, ibig sabihin, kapag ang loss units normal na discover at the beginning of the process and during the process and no quality control is inspection, ito yung gagawin natin. Kapag A3, ito, kapag A3 discovered at the end of the process, ito naman yung gagawin. So, assign work done to the loss units. No need to adjust the unit cost from preceding department uh, despite the loss units. And then calculate of the loss units add to the uh, to cost of the completed units. Okay. So, ito yung ginawa ko naman. Yun lang din naman yung nakai Leon din naman. Ito yung rules. Kaya lang, mas madali kasi siyang i-memorize kapag nakaganito. Okay. So, anyway, tingnan nyo din kung saan kayo mas madadalian. So, ganito yung ginawa ko. So, kapag normal, reported as product cost pa din siya. So, dito sa loss unit, since tatlo lang naman yung pwede natin madis, kailan natin siya pwede madiscover eh. Beginning, during, and ending. So, so ibig sabihin, dyan mo pwede madiscover yung loss units. Kasi dyan nangyari yung inspection. So, pwede nga inspection at the beginning, or during the process, or at the end of the process. So, Kapag beginning and during, ito during, tatlo, hinati ko naman din sa tatlo. No quality inspection is indicated 
and letter B upon inspection and work in process have at least reached the inspection point and letter C upon inspection and work in process ending have not yet reached the inspection point. But tong si B tsaka si C, wala na siya ngayon. Okay? So, ito lang yung nasa example natin, no quality inspection is indicated. So, kasi itong dalawa na to, ito mas nakakalito to. So, ba't ngayon wala na yan? So, mas mainam kasi tatlo na lang. Beginning, tas during no quality inspection is indicated and ending. Okay? But if ever, na meron kayo makita na ganito, so, ganito lang naman yung gagawin mo. So, yung nandito sa left side, ay sa right side, ito yung procedures na gagawin natin. So, kapag beginning mo siya na-discover, okay, so, pag beginning and during, so, during no quality inspection is indicated, so, ito lang yung tatandaan nyo, do not assign work done to the lost units, adjust the unit cost from preceding department, okay, and automatically charge the cost of normal lost units to completed and transferred in work in process ending. So, yan lang yung kailangan yung i-memorize. So, pag beginning, do not, do not assign work done, then adjust the unit cost from preceding department, and then, automatically, machachoy saan, saan, completed and transferred in work in process ending. Okay? So, itong dalawa, hindi ko na to i-discuss itong dalawa na to, since wala naman na yan dun sa book natin. Okay? So, ending, Kapag na-discover naman at the end of the process, so anong gagawin? Ito yon, Assign work done to the lost units. So, tandaan, baliktad lang sila. Kung ang beginning, do not assign work done. Ang ending, assign work done. Okay? So, kung ang beginning, adjust the unit cost from preceding department. Ang ending, no need to adjust the unit cost from preceding department. And kapag beginning, automatically, macha-charge siya sa completed and transferred and work in process ending yung cost ng loss units. But pag end ng process na discover, calculate the cost of loss units and charge as additional cost of completed and transferred. Okay? So pag beginning, tandaan, sino mag-absorb si completed and transferred and work in process ending. Pag end na discover, sino lang ang mag a ng loss units? Si completed and transferred. Okay? So, mamaya, i-discuss ko kung bakit ganyan. Bakit sino yung dapat na mag-absorb ng loss units na cost. Okay? So, pwede class, tandaan nyo na lang yung una, beginning and during no quality inspection is indicated. Tapos, balik tarin mo na lang kapag end ng uh, process na discover yung loss units. Kasi, pag beginning, do not assign work done. Then, adjust the unit cost from preceding department. And, sino yung mag absorb automatically? Si completed and transferred and work in process ending. So, pag end ng process na discover, kung do not assign work done dyan, assign work done dito. So, kung dito ay adjust the unit cost, no need to adjust the unit cost from preceding department. So, dito, Sino mag absorb Si completed and transferred and work in processing. Kaya lang automatic yan. So, hindi mo na kailangang i-compute yung cost ng loss units. Kasi automatic ang nag-absorb na si completed and work in processing. But dito, kapag end, calculate the cost of loss units and charge as additional cost of completed and transferred. Sino lang mag absorb Si completed and transferred. Okay? So, pag abnormal, mas madali ito. Pag abnormal, recognized as period cost or recorded siya as factory overhead, discovered at the uh, beginning of the process, no need as to assign work done, and any cost from uh, preceding department is charged as uh, abnormal loss. Okay. If discovered at any other points process uh, in the process, so, mas madali pag abnormal loss units. So, pag abnormal, recognize as period cost or factory overhead. So, kapag na-discover at the beginning of the process, no need to assign work done and any cost from preceding department as char is uh, charged as abnormal loss. So, recorded siya as factory overhead. So, but if discover that any other points at the end of the process or during, with or without indication indicated inspection point, Assign work done and the cost is charged to factory overhead control. So, ito naman as period cost. Okay. 
So, if ever lang na ma-encounter ma nyo to, so, ito, upon inspection and working process ending have not yet reached the inspection point, same lang sila ng end ng process. Pag upon inspection and working process ending have at least reached the inspection point, so, ito yung gagawin. Pareho lang sila ng ending, pinagkaiba lang nila dito sa dulo. Kung dito, si completed and transferred dito, pinoprorate natin kay completed and transferred in work in process ending. But sa libro natin, wala na itong tong B and C. Okay, so kaya ano lang, beginning, during, and end ng process. So, i-memorize nyo siya para mas madali nyo siyang uh, maintindihan. So, mas madali yung loss units. So, after nyan, uh, yung loss units, i-discuss muna natin ng basic. Wala mo ng average and FIFO. So, magbibigay ako ng example ulit ng meron ng mga average and FIFO na loss units na. Okay? So, yung format pa rin ng average and FIFO, huwag nyo kakalimutan. Okay? So, example yung susunod. 